Понюхай его. Понюхай его. It's about 1.15 a.m. right now on a Thursday night, and we're gonna go grocery shopping in Kiev. So I wanna show you guys like what the prices are and how it might compare to, you know, what it would be in the United States. And in Ukraine, like you can get a manicure at 3 a.m. You can get laser ep epilation at some god awful time or a haircut at 4 a.m. And you can also get groceries basically whenever you want. And I'm a, you know, definitely a big night owl. So I like going to get groceries at 2 or 3 a.m. or something like that. I usually wonder if there's anything you can't buy 24 seven in a Ukrainian supermarket. So let's go in and find out. And I think we're gonna find some pretty wild things in here. So right when you walk in, there's a big difference with Western grocery stores, at least in most countries I've seen. And right here, this is where you can put your bags. So maybe if you purchase something in another store, then no one's gonna accuse you of stealing anything. And you just put it in there and you take the key and then you can go and uh, shop for your groceries. So one point I wanna make is, well, the prices are generally very cheap for Western tourists. For locals, they're really quite expensive. So the problem is that the minimum wage is less than $250 a month, so it can reflect in terms of you know, what we actually see here. So now I'll share some tips that will help you make fast and easy price comparisons and conversions. So stay tuned for an enjoyable night and a walk in an authentic Ukrainian grocery store. Here's something very interesting to me. You can buy all these things in this huge bulk and you can just scoop them up. And I want to say the price conversion, I think it's something like 27.83 hryvnia per dollar right now. And there's going to be the price in kilograms up here. So that's about 30 cents per pound for the grain. And I'm going to look at some of this. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think this is some sort of flour. And look at this. This is really cool. And we have the scoop right here. You just have this big, big bin of sugar. And you can pronounce that Sukor Pisak. So this is known as buckwheat in English, and I didn't even know what this was until I got to, you know, when I moved to Poland. And so the trick actually is if you want to know what this is per pound, you divide by 61.2. So I think it comes out to about 52 cents per pound, and that's really not that bad. And this is really, really healthy stuff. So especially, you know, if you're in the gym and all that, it's really good. Um, we just have some classical oats right here, and that's um, that's even cheaper. Um, I want to show also just kind of some interesting products here. Like this is something that to me is kind of horrifying, but in, in a sense it's kind of good. Um, so we have these uh, chicken legs right here. And, um, you know, to be honest to me, it sounds kind of gross, but it's actually really kind of good that they're actually using these things rather than just throwing them away. So here's some milk, and this is where it gets a little more complicated because what's the price of this in US dollars per gallon? And this is where the units get more complicated. There's 3.78 liters per gallon, and that means to get the approximate conversion with the current rate, you have to divide the existing price by 7.4. We have some other stuff that might be familiar here. We have to be a little careful, so look right here. It says 136.39 hryvnia, and it has that little letter. That means per piece, so that's not per kilo, so that's about $5 total for this little thing, and it's about 180 grams. So there's more of this, um, just kind of seafood stuff here, like at least this one's in, per, in uh, kilograms. Um, but there's a lot of these, it seems actually pretty cheap. So I can't really tell which of these is which. But I mean, if you look at this right here, this is only like a little bit over $3 for like this bag. In contrast, a lot of this meat here is really very expensive. So like that's 506 uh, hryvnia 39 per uh, kilo. And chicken breast is usually less than 100. One of the fun places to look at in Ukrainian grocery stores is the candy aisle because there can be some interesting stuff here. So this is actually a pretty fascinating thing. So this is going to be 
a um, little over two dollars for this big candy bar here but this is some just like crazy crazy chocolate there's like pop rocks in it there's gummy bears there's i don't know all, all, all sort of stuff like um I'm not really sure, honestly, if I really like it or not, but it's an interesting experience for sure. And also one of the things, this is uh, Roshan chocolate. So the former Ukrainian president was in charge of this company. And so right now they have a, and I'm not making any of this up, they have a comedian as a current president. And I think he played the um, president in some TV show. And they used to have a chocolate man right before that. So, um, also, this is um, just a le lesson in Cyrillic that's um, pronounced the same way as the reason I'm wearing this mask right now. This is also by that same company that, uh, the, you know, the president ran, former president, had like some Galaxy Life gummies. Um, the one that was funny for me was this one up here. And by the way, these are like 16 hryvnia. This is um, something like, I don't know, 70 cents or something like that. Um, Softy Hippos. So softy is, of course, um, you know, just an English slang. This is the opposite of wood. Uh, so it's a little funny to see that there, but like for the most part, there really isn't um, so much English in these things. handsome boy and look down here handsome boy is your best partner and he will make you satisfied in fact they were already even selling him with his pants down but i can't see much that he would satisfy anyone with here at Velika kashenya you can buy your grandson a discotheque i think this is even better than handsome boy after all i mean this gives you infinite pleasure you can't see handsome boy living up to that Oh man, so this is what every parent wants, a toy that teaches their children to scream. At least we can give them the disco tank and go and relax. Probably best to pass on this one. So this is the alcohol aisle and there's another one. So I think it's actually not legal to buy alcohol after some hours. Some grocery stores like Atebe and I think Silpo will sometimes close off the alcohol aisle late enough um, but here we can at least take a look at it probably we couldn't buy it so here we have um, for example Lvivska that's uh, probably beer from Lviv and we have this this really really big thing here this is I think 2.4 liters it says and it's 44 point so like 45 hryvnia so that's um, less than two dollars for you know this big thing of beer and now this is the wine aisle and he had this uh, like boxed wine it's about like two dollars roughly sometimes a little less than that and most stuff isn't that expensive i mean this this is quite a lot i think that's like 60 or 70 dollars or something like that it's some um champagne of some sort but like most of the stuff here okay there's a couple like pretty expensive things here but if we look at the wines over here, like pretty much everything here is like three or four dollars. So we have a couple people here that want to explain yeah, something. Yeah. So there's something you like there. Kruta. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I speak English. English. Mm. Yeah, uh, till the blue English? No, no. it is not. <laughs> Russian. Russian. Blue, blue, blue is, yeah, Russian. Yeah. Russian girls. We was love you. Забери нас вон. Понюхай его. Понюхай его. Хороший. It's okay. All right. All right. All right. Bye. 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 So I think after that experience, maybe I need a little bit of vodka to recover from it. 
So of course I'm not going to break the law and buy some alcohol here, but it really makes me wonder after that amazing encounter if there's anything that you can't buy in some Ukrainian supermarket, say 24 hours a day. So this is Bill's Aftermath and your likes and shares are always appreciated and they'll help me show more fascinating trips in uh, future videos. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos.